Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you're watching the Bowtie Psychic. I'm a psychic and intuitive medium who focuses on generational trauma and ancestral healing through divination. So today, this is the first uh, day for the weekly Words of Wisdom videos. Uh, I was led to do these videos just to connect with people out in the world. So please be sure to you know like the channel, like the video, subscribe to the video uh, to the channel rather and actually share this on all your social media uh, platforms because the more likes my videos get the more likely we are to you know be out in the world and spreading the messages so I was being led to address us uh, you know folks who are celebrating pride um, it's been a long time since I've uh, done a, a pride video in fact this is my first time doing anything pertaining to pride um, and I was wanted. I didn't want to do like. I did want to do just anything. I just wanted to basically ask, like, spirit, what can I do to, you know, address people who are celebrating themselves throughout the month. I know that in Rochester, um, we have a Pride Week, and so that is, or weekend rather, and so that is in July. Everyone else is in June. I don't know why, that is. So, um, the first card I received, because I was asking Spirit, what can I do to, you know, basically give folks words of wisdom as far as, um, as far as, you know, pride and being yourself, so on and so forth. And a lot of the, the cards that I received are actually upside down, um, but they have nothing to do with us, you know, but how we are perceived in the world. So the first card uh, we received is the the seven of of air and basically what this card is saying is that uh, we are not to care about what other folks think. Now this person is holding a holy book um, and if it were right side up it would talk about dogma and religion but, or spirituality and being dogmatic. But what this card is basically saying is that we are not to care about what people think of us what we what they think about our you know our struggles and you know who we are as people is none of their business and it's none of their concern i'm also getting to that regardless of how they feel about us because of their religion and their religious ideology they're going to feel some type of way about the lgbtiqa community despite what we say to them so the best thing for us to do is to basically be ourselves and to love ourselves and be authentic in every way, shape, and form. We are not here to adhere to religious dogma or even spiritual dogma. We are here to literally be ourselves. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the world pertaining to the trans and queer community, especially. Um, every like Almost all of our rights are in jeopardy. However, what I'm getting from spirit is that despite all that's going on, we are to literally love ourselves and to basically show up in the world as ourselves. We're divine. We're I can't stress this enough. And we have been here um, throughout human history. So we're just not popping out of anywhere or nowhere. Yet because of how the media is portraying us, they make it seem as if we are just coming out of the woodwork, especially if we are queer and trans, and, and or trans rather, or gender non-conforming. We've always been here. So that particular card is saying that whether it, you know, is through Pride or for Pride Month or, you know, whether or not Pride Month is here, whether or not you celebrate Pride, we are not to, you know, let religious dogma get in the way of who we are as people. Because once we start doing that, then we start to feel that we have no divinity whatsoever. See, this is the thing. A lot of the of the religious dogma that you hear is not about us. It's not about us at all. It's about self hatred. It's about internalized ignorance. It's all of, about you know how the world views us based on misinformation. So it's not your fault that people have that misinformation. It's not your fault, it's not our fault that people refuse to learn. So that first card is basically saying that we are not to take this personal, 
We are not to take the religious dogma that's being thrown at us uh, personal because it has nothing to do with us and everything to do with, with not just ignorance, but this this form of this self hatred that people have towards uh, towards you know themselves and that that sense of that that sense of fear. That's that sense of fear of what is considered the unknown when in actuality we've always been here. So I'm also getting the union card. And the union card upside down is basically saying that we are to be united. We are to be united. And I'm not just talking about, you know, um, straight uh, straight people or heterosexual people. I'm talking about people in the LGBTIQA community. We are to be a united front and not be fragmented, you know, in any way, shape or form because that is literally how, I'm not going to say the enemy, but basically that's how a lot of bigotry uh, blossoms and, and, and take form is when they take bits and pieces, you know, of the community and use that fragmentation in order to basically gain power. And so we are being, that card, the union card is basically saying that we are not to use labels and we are not to use differences of opinion to, especially, you know, Pride Month where, you know, everyone has an opinion about identities and who belongs. We're not to have that fight. That fight doesn't belong to us and we really didn't start it. See, a lot of people, the reason why they go through um, that whole thing of, you know, you know, us versus them within the community is because they each fragment you know, in each faction wants, you know, that sense of belonging. This is not the time to have, um, this is not the time to have a hierarchy, you know, about who is better um, and, and who is worse or so on and so forth. We're all divine. We are all, you know, in this fight together. We are all in this together as far as, you know, a spiritual, because this is a spiritual battle what's going on too, as far as, how people view us and how we view ourselves and how we view each other in the LGBTIQA community. Um, we're literally playing in the hands of those. Whenever we fight, whenever we do a lot of infighting, we're playing in the hands, into the hands of those who do not see our divinity. So we are to be very, very careful as to not to feed into a lot of, you know, the, the negativity that's in the media, the negativity that's being thrown at us because of the propaganda propaganda that's in the media. We are to be careful with that. And we are not to allow gatekeeping to further, uh, you know, dominate the community or use, you know, use any sort of, you know, um, gatekeeping or any sort of, Dog like dogma pertaining to identity. That's what I'm getting. Dogma pertaining to identity. We cannot allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to tear the community apart. So that's where that union card came from. And once we start, you know, realizing that we all have a place in the community, and no, there is no hierarchy, and there is no place to, you know, there's pretty much no place for it whatsoever. This is when we come together. This is the Eight of Water. It's one of my favorite cards because what ends up happening is that once we start seeing our own divinity, we start to see the divinity within others. And then once we start doing that, we start to come together. And it's because we are at peace with ourselves. It's because, you know, on a, on a, on a spiritual level, we see our power, we see our worth, and therefore we are able to see the worth in other people. See, a lot of us, that's where the, the gatekeeping comes from. It comes from this sense of belonging or wanting to be part of the bigger system. And as a result of that, we're leaving each other and, living, and leaving other factions behind, leaving other demographics behind. And that's where a lot of the darkness um, that is plaguing the world already is it starts to take bloom within our communities when we start to feed into it with you know by getting into all these groups and getting into uh, you know and feeding into all these labels and so we are literally being told um, to basically be yourself 
be yourself and to honor the, your brothers, your sisters, your the person you know um, in, in your life and in, in, within the community, the LGBTQA community. Um, this is not the time. Again, this is not the time to 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 basically like. To be divided. This is not the time to be divided. This is not the time to, you know, um, allow this celebration or allow even pr uh, to use Pride Month or to even allow it to be used to cause uh, a, a, a sort of friction or a sort of a fragmentation within the community because I've seen that, unfortunately, and that is what that's that's why so much darkness is in the community um, because we're allowing the system, the bigger system, to basically, you know, tear us apart. So Spirit is basically saying, like, yes, yeah, celebrate celebrate pride, celebrate your identity, celebrate your personhood, celebrate your spirit, celebrate your soul, celebrate your uh, divinity. But you can do that without tearing someone else down. Because we need each other in the long run. So that's all I have for this uh, weekly words of wisdom video. Please check out the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. You can also follow me, you know, on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be on Twitter soon. Uh, and my website is up, so I'll be uh, sharing that with you. Uh, and also, please uh, share the content. Um, subscribe to the channel. Also, um, like the video, comment. I really want to know what you think. Um, so, until next time, thank you for watching and peace.